Most Valuable Skater is the main nomination of the prestigious ISU Skating Awards, and the only one where the International Skating Union did not forget about the figure skaters from Russia, Anish Cherbikova was among the candidates, and on February 5th, we will find out if the Russian Olympic champion was able to win the award. Nevertheless, without international isolation, other Russians would certainly have been on the list. We correct this misunderstanding and invite you to choose the most valuable skater from this list. The nomination includes achievements for the last two seasons. Yuzuru Hanyu. The great Japanese is at least on a par with the greats Alexei Yagidin and Evgeny Plashenko. Only these three skaters have collected the Grand Slam, all the titles that can be won in figure skating. In terms of Olympic gold medals, only Plashenko is equal to Khan, but he has two personal goals, and our Evgeny has a personal and a team one. Since his last Olympics in 2022, Yuzuru did not even take away the bronze, losing to Nathan Chen and young teammates Yuma Kajiyama and Shoma Uno. But his main goal was not a victory and not a medal, but the first performance of a quadruple axle in the history of figure skating. Unfortunately, Hanyu's attempt ended in a fall, but in any case, his performance at the games was something more than just a fight for gold. Take you somewhere so you know I can... Anish Cherbikova, the 2022 Olympic champion from Russia was not ignored even by the ISU of course, she got a place in my ranking. In the pre-Olympic season, Anya won the world championship, and a year later she added the main title to the piggy bank. At the same time, Shcherbikova struggled with difficulties. For the first time in three seasons, she lost gold at the national championship, finishing only with bronze after Kamila Valeva and Alexandra Trusova, after Valeva's doping case, silver passed to Anna. At the European Championships, Anya also remained behind Camila, but the Olympic Games became the hour of her triumph. Valeva experienced a doping scandal and all its ups and downs with a possible suspension. The legendary five quadruple jumps of Sasha Trusova were not as clean as possible. Shcherbikova won with two quads, but with flawless ones. Her performances were a real work of art. Alexandra Trusova. In no case should one underestimate the figure skater who created a real revolution in women's single skating. Women's quadruple jumps began to be associated precisely with the name of Trusova, not Cherbikova, and not Valeva. Sasha was the first among women to land a quad toe loop, flip, and lutz. She also performed salkhaus at competitions and showed possession of a loop in training. The crown of her efforts was the performance of five quads in the free program of the Olympic Games. Trusova never fell but, unfortunately, not all landings were flawless. Alexandra lost gold to Anna Cherbikova, but no less is said about her achievement. Evgenia Tarasova and Vladimir Morozov Athletic longevity in sports couples is not uncommon, but Evgenia Tarasova and Vladimir Morozov delight with their devotion to figure skating. After the Olympics in Pyeongchang, coach Nina Moser refused Zhenya and Vova, but by the next games, they moved to the team of Atari Tutbrids and proved that they are still the first couple in Russia, despite the progressing young duets of Tamara Miskvina. Tarasova and Morozov are to some extent the standard of pair skating, and they do not stop, although after the Olympic season, many predicted their retirement. Skaters take to the ice again and again, opposing the complexity of competitors with their experience and rolling. <music> Elizaveta Tiktamashiva Who can be the most valuable figure skater from an international point of view, if not Liza Tiktamashiva? The ice arrays the age limit specifically to promote meaningful women's skating, and 26-year-old Tiktamashiva is a true icon of that style. At the end of 2022, Liza competed at the Russian Championship for the 15th time and won a bronze medal, ahead of many young competitors. And at the previous stages of the Russian Grand Prix, she won two victories. Tiktamashiva definitely would not have been lost at international competitions. 
This is the kind of figure skater that world sports need. Nathan Chen Olympic champion 2022 and the owner of all three world records, just look at the figures of the magnificent American, which the judges awarded him. 113.97 points for the short program, 224.92 for the free program, 335.30 for the total. First of all, Chen is known as a unique quad player. At the Beijing Games, he made two senior quadruple jumps in the short program and performed five in the free program, three of them were senior. And, unlike Trusova's five quad, all his quadruples were performed on the pluses. How not to admire such a skater? Camila Valiva she owns all the world records and, having entered the adult international level in the Olympic season, she immediately began to amaze. Valiva's not only quadruple jumps, but also a stable triple axle. Valiva is, in principle, not only jumping, but also incredible grace, flexibility and excellent gliding. In the very first adult season, Valiva won the title of European champion and became the Olympic champion in the team tournament, but, unfortunately, due to a positive test at the Russian championship, a doping case was brought against her and Camila was left without a medal in single competitions. Too many difficulties fell on the shoulders of the young figure skater and she overcame them and in the new season she maintains a decent level of skating. The Rusada Anti-Doping Committee acquitted Valiva, but there is a fight ahead in international instances. <laughs> Wen Jingsui in Han Kong Throughout his career, the great Chinese couple was tormented by injuries. They had to miss important starts, but the skaters reached their main, home Olympics and won there, rewriting two of the three world records. Although a year before that, they lost at the World Championships to the Russians' young couple Anastasia Misina Alexander Galyamov. <music> Kaori Sakamoto It is very difficult to go to the main start of the four-year period, knowing in advance that you will be left without a medal, and for Kaori Sakamoto this was obvious, given the form of competitors from Russia. Anish Cherbakova, Kamila Valiva and Alexandra Trusova absolutely should not have put her on the podium, but Kaori took advantage of Valiva's misfires and then posed for the awards with bronze, which for her was akin to gold. And at the end of the season she became the world champion, albeit without the presence of the Russian team. <music> Gabriela Papadakis and Guillaume Cizeron the French duo rewrote all records in ice dancing, and they will remain unshakable for a very long time. Papadakis and Cizeron is a new history of ice dances. A balance of perfect gliding and dramaturgy, harmony of images and mutual understanding between a partner and a partner at a reflex level. They collected all the titles and finally took the long-awaited gold at the Beijing Olympics. Yes, and five victories at the World Championships is a solid achievement. More only the great Soviet dancers Lyudmila Pakamova and Alexander Gorshkov. <laughs>